All right, what's up, Hot Squad? Welcome back to my Hot Banger Recap Marathon. So we're gonna continue on with a new recap that I wanted to get a chance to. This is one of Chad Juice's newest recaps. I think, believe, came out weeks ago. And this is his IP Man recap, and this one is called "When IP Man Gave Ten Black Belt Straight Hands in Reverse Jumping." So IP Man, it's been so freaking long. I've seen the entire trilogy. I think it's a trilogy, right? Yeah, it's been so damn long since I've seen the trilogy. So. It's gonna feel nostalgic because I was I was young when I saw the entire trilogy, man. Because like, God damn, man, Don Yen was was kicking ass, man. He was kicking ass all these movies. So, man, it's gonna feel nostalgic seeing this. So I'm just gonna get straight into it because I have one more recap. I'm gonna be calling it quits for Hot Bangers for today. Then tomorrow I'm gonna do all the trailers I missed out on. So, Hot Squad, what we're gonna do? We're going to watch Jai Jusu's recap as IP Man right now. Let's check it out. Hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, get it, get it, get it, get it. Jesus. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean onto your own understanding. Pro verse is required. Great quote. Yes, sir. Uh, time for another banger. Banger. Bang. Today we're looking at hands down one of the best. And I mean the best reverse jumpings I've ever seen a human pull off. These feats got me thinking humans will always remain at the top of the food chain. <laughs> Today we yapping about IP man versus the 10 black belts. Let's get to it. Jump starts off with bro right here looking egregious. Man's just caught the beating of his life. Them black belts got his face looking like this. Dude thought he was gonna walk off with the loot, but somebody had a different plan. Greasy. And we know bro ain't see it coming. Got IP man grabbing the gate. Flabbergasted. Why they shoot Brody? I know you hear me, Goofy. Hey, shoot him. Dude turned like, you talking to me? Ah, <laughs> uh, I see. Of course a nigga like this shot him. Man's got that yeah. Mr. Crocker build. He definitely used to horn people. Dude like, well he took the rights after taking the L, sir. So I had to grease him. Man, you know dang well yo. Hell, it my parents. Head tail couldn't wait to shoot mans. And he really thought he was cooking with that head shot. You are not John Wick. <laughs> nigga was not even moving. The henchman dragged dude off screen. And now it's up. Mr. Crocker told Buddy to get the next challenger, and we all know who up next. Yeah. Open the door. Go for you know I want next. What's crazy is, is that bro IP man is eager for the fade. Cause if you watched any of these movies, you know bro really ain't looking to fade with dudes yeah. like that. Yeah. But the hands are definitely always on standby. Yeah. The mugs are rated, rated E for, for everyone. everyone. Oh, by the way, speaking of uh, John Wick, y'all seen John Wick Chapter 4, right? Donnie Yen as Kane, man. If y'all not seen John Wick 4, go freaking see it, damn it. Donnie Yen was freaking amazing in that, man. Uh, don't do this, bro. Open the gate. Mans came out the gate with some pep in his step. He surveyed them goofies and was like, Nigga, I want 10 of them. It's his life work. <laughs> Got his homeboy over here in awe. You said 10, my guy? <laughs> well, he must not know bro name. This is the infamous IP man, the nigga who taught Bruce Lee arguably the dog of all dogs when it comes to this fighting jump, all he knows. And anyone whose name is two letters, you might as well say GG's anyway. That's like the equivalent of a Call of Duty tryhard with no numbers in his name. I said I want 10. Bro said 10, and the general walked up like, huh? This dude gotta be free eats. Ain't no way he calling out 10. And look at Croc over here grinning. Man. If I had three wishes, boy, you'd be stained on the walls of my toilet, boy. Cause you straight dookie. I despise them grimy fools like this, bro. Go summit the black belts, and now the fade begins. My guy went back to sit down the little bit of good eats he had left, and walked straight to center stage on these fools. Wait, 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 wait. They really had bro out here eating this ball of concrete and wheat and called it bread? Oh yeah, he got something to prove. Shoot, I'd be ready to fade too. They surrounded dude and took their battle stances and they got real quiet for a second. Bro is locked in. I'm talking knuckles clenched, lips chapped, and no, we ain't blinking around here. We locked. Man's finna go, shh, damn it. They all swarm at him. And bro, I swear, when it comes to reverse jumping, the first dude initiating the fade always gets one shot. It dude came in spamming circle just to get boomed on his back and caught five toes to his jaw, breaking his neck against the mat. If man used bro head like a launch pad on Fortnite, then parried bro right here with a backhand and gave his partner a Tyson uppercut, finishing the fourth goofy with a two piece special from Popeyes. He hit that arm lock and then violated bro right here. Man was like bumping and spam the light attack to dude face, but he not done. He leg sweeped him, dropped him on his gut, and I know Brody Diamond gasping for air. Then here comes the third party, 
sight. Bro just weaved the attack by folding Bro's arm in like some origami. And look how that mug just fell back over all limp and flaccid. Man, it man would be a force in the UFC, boy. Dude ain't giving nobody the chance to tap out. He breaking you off regardless. Tarnish it. See, this what happens when you get the greasing niggas unprovoked. Man's right here thought he was finna slide in a kick, but it man caught Bro foot. And hit a quick moonwalk. Got no legs at a 180 degree angle. Look at dude. He like, please don't do it, man. Oh nah, it's up, my guy. Mm. It man shin check this mm. homie, then fold that bro leg vertically. Mm. Bro hitting that right angle emote. Honestly, the fight should have ended right there. Just yeah. give bro his loot and send him on his way. Dude really just did Brody like that. You clearly see this man is a max prestige fader. He just out here farming at this point. Like, look at this junk, bro. Three piece, no biscuit, then a weave. Bro is too locked. Got the general up there fiending. He's like, finally a worthy opponent. Shoot, I got nicked. And I know y'all ain't letting bro one shot y'all with slaps to the back of your head. Like, boy, if you don't get your tail back up and stop playing dead, that jump did not hurt. He just hold his partner for real, for real. Cause I know he wasn't expecting to see his bow get one shotted. So he got caught in a quick arm bar and boomed on his spinicus then caught a 100 times combo breaker straight to his face dude's soul left his body before it man even finished that combo now the other doodle bobs over here rethinking this boy they ain't trying to run the fade no more these goofies must have bought their black notes off wish cause ain't no way these fools was putting in no pain for real no charge in with no plan caught an elbow to the forehead and forgot who the heck he was then caught a knee just to jog his memory and i guess these fools just made up that rubber material Cause bro, Ip Man is really at her folding arms like paper planes. Then you grab them by the face and toss them. You think the last few goofies would try and actually jump this man, but nah, they are here giving bro many 1v1s in a 10v1 fade. Like, bro, what are y'all doing? Jump this fool. Man's out here giving your homie straight back shots. Dude on the ground like, nigga. And bro standing at idle like they just lagged out the party. Ah, snap. They took my advice. Wait, huh? Ain't no way, boy. They getting the how to escape a jumping treatment. Where are y'all punching, bruh? I'm convinced some of these goofies just want to get greased. There is no way full grown men failed to land one single lick on this nigga IP man. Bruh, y'all gotta go back to the drawing board, dude. Man's out here me meeking y'all niggas. He finished with that heavy elbow, then throat check bro's esophagus. Got him looking up at the ceiling, pulling his head in to maximize this absolute tarnishing gut check. Ugh. Oh, you thought that was it? Nah. He flipped bro head around and punched his neck in, ending him. Greased. You're done. Got him stiff as a board. Call that boy Plank. Then started styling on bro. See me? While bro over here emoting, all y'all green best ganin should be jumping this man. I would have sent a flying knee or a roundhouse haymaker dead to the back of his head y'all ain't want it bad enough that's what it is i know y'all seen dude lay down his last piece of bread man's got one hunger bar left and here comes another idiot another homicide we hit man like really bro come on now now i gotta do you dirty then he got hit with that 1000 meek meek technique caving his chest in another emo not only is he fading these frauds but he going straight for the three star ranking and hitting all the style points he looked over at dude and bro already know he finna get slimed out a true 1v1 no chance of backup it like bro come on now i know you don't want to do this to yourself so he walked him down with no guard this man is straight disrespectful bro walking him down arms to the side dude kick that leg up Perry split it got him squealing ah. then i thought bro was finna take a move out of randy orton book and RKO Brody, but nah, he out for blood. He put man's in a blender, caught him right between the knees, and spam dude with max damage haymaker to the dome, where cranium about to get caved in. Boy, this fool Ip Man went stupid, boy. When I say a master class in reverse jumping, it don't get no better. With that being said, 5k likes, and I'll do Ip Man versus the general. See Juice Mafia, hidden technique. Peace. All right, nice, nice. Great recap, Jajusu. Sorry if I'm yawning someone a little bit. Hey, look, I'm tired. I just got from, or Rissy just got from work about freaking um two hours ago. And it's like, okay, I want to get some of these reactions done today, so I'll do what about doing them tomorrow. And it's Friday too, as well. So why not? Shoot, why not? Well, overall, do a recap, Jajusu. Keep you up great with these, man. But it's been so long since I've seen the um, IP Man movies. It's been that long, man. So, yeah. 
I'm trying to get a good memory of these. Well, I, I, I think I remember some of it, some of those scenes of IP Man movies, but it's like I said, it's been so long I've seen IP Man movies. So yeah, overall, no recap, Jujutsu, keep up the great work. So Hot Squad, that is my conclusion of my reaction to Jujutsu's recap of IP Man. So if you enjoyed this, please hit the button, share thoughts. Have you seen the IP Man? How old have you seen them? And what's your favorite out of all the movies? So Hot Squad, I got one more, one more. Hot Baker recap we wanted to get through today, then I'm calling it quits for today. Then we'll continue more reactions tomorrow, which I have my trade reactions when I get through, I missed out on. So the next Hot Baker recap I'm going to do is Casper's Invisible Recap. So Hot Squad, please stay tuned for that. <laughs>